Previously on Neo, the world ends with you. Okay, how far back can you remember then? Like, what about yesterday? Oh, I remember yesterday just fine. It's today that's the problem. Huh, weird. But I'm glad you remember yesterday at least. Huh? You say something? Whatever. No, shut your stupid alarm face right up! Jesus Christ, what did I- Shut the- Fucking <laughs> storms off. Wait, what did I? I don't understand. Ah, uh, super Sudan. And now back to. Sneako B, back with some more. Neo, the world ends with you. We last left off. Oh my God, Ken, I was freaking dead. And sure enough, she actually wasn't that bad of a person at all. And holy crap, Fred is super depressed. Wow. Yeah, I think Last of Us really kind of sealed it for me. I think I like this game more than The Last World Ends With You, to be honest. I, I think I do. I think I can say that relatively safely at this point, because we're on, what, day four or five? I think we're on five now. Nope, four. But even then, I would still say I think I like this game more than the original World Ends With You. The thing about the World in Ends With You original is that I feel like it took a while for me to warm up to it, and it got better, and a lot of it had to do with the fact that I just didn't like how they handled Neku. He becomes more likable, right? Like, I, I don't... It's not like I hate Neku. No, he, he, he becomes so much better. But I feel like they... It's interesting how this game seems to be taking a lot of the same ideas and concepts around characters from the first game, like Neku, and sort of turn it on its head a bit. Like, Fret, in some ways, is almost similar to how Neku also seemingly lost a friend, right? And that caused him to sort of close himself off from the world, while Fret, on the other hand, sort of replaced his persona with a fake one. It's also someone who actually really went into, into good detail about, like, this sort of idea, and that was uh, Big Chungus, who last episode said, What I really like about Fret's character is how there are actually a lot of hints towards his fakeness. Take the side quest with Iru, for example. In that one, we see the difference with Nagi and Fred's philosophies on life. Nagi believes that insecurity should be understood and harnessed so that they can ultimately be turned into a strength that can be used as a lucrative tool for success. Accept your weaknesses and come to terms with them so that you can weaponize your strengths better. Fred's response, on the other hand, is to tell Iru to ignore the haters and even more so ignore confronting the insecurities. Life is better when you don't have to concern yourself with anything or try. Don't take anything seriously. Then there's how his expressions change in a split second when they help the Varia Beauty's lady friend cope with having a dead best friend in week two, which probably hits close to home for him as he tries to hastily change the subject. Then there's how Nagi treats him in a comparison to Beat, even when they generally act similarly. In comparison to Fret, Beat is 100% genuine. He has nothing to hide and lays everything out on the table from the second you meet him. Yeah, he's dumb as a brick, but he has a really big heart and is always ready to go up to bat for his friends. Nagi appreciates that kind of person, and Fret trying way too hard to seem like that kind of person when he really isn't is why she dismisses him so much for most of the game. And finally, there's his dynamic with Rindo. They mesh well together because they offer one another an easy friendship without getting attached. Fret didn't want to be genuine with anyone, so he played the lovable goofball, and Rindo didn't want to be decisive, so he went with someone who would make the decisions for him and fill in all of the silences. They both appreciated having a friend that didn't take any work. Rindo could stand there on his phone while Fret spouted off all kinds of shallow conversation topics and just carted Rindo around with him. Only when the game starts and things get serious do the two actually open up to one another. That's really, really interesting. That was actually a lot to unload there. That's but it's really super interesting. It actually really makes me realize like how well written the characters are in this game because you sort of see that, right? You see that with how like Rindo is constantly looking to swallow, right? For support and advice and not to fret, right? Like despite them supposedly being best friends, but it's seemingly more like they were just friends because they sort of needed each other in a different way, but not really, right? It wasn't like a genuine real friendship at first. And at this point, I think they've, they've hit that point where they've kind of like come to realize and accept each other's weaknesses and are both trying to move past being both indecisive and fake. But like the real kind of like moments of like genuineness like the, the real connections made like fret actually made a real connection with canon because he saw her actually being true to herself right and similarly rindo seems to really be attached to swallow maybe because he sees some of himself in them i'm not really sure i'm not exactly sure what what specifically rindo sees in swallow other than 
he just feels a connection to them, even though he has, we haven't spoken to them in a while. I'm excited to see who we end up, who Swallow actually ends up being too. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really curious at this point. Like, I keep thinking like, oh, it's Neku. Oh, wait, no, it's the leader of the room breakers. Oh, it's uh, fucking Matoe or some random douchebag. And no, no, I like, I actually just don't know anymore. I really don't know where they're going with this. They've definitely kept us hanging for a while. But yeah, I think last episode was a really great moment for Fret and like, a great honestly a great moment for canon too like just like it really because i spent the, most of the game just being kind of unsure about her and yeah she was just genuine all the way to the end it was pretty awesome but big chungus thank you so much for your insanely enlightening comment it was a really really excellently written comment that got my head thinking and made me actually appreciate the, the game and the characters even more uh and it is for that reason you are comment of the day but yeah, and you guys did sort of clarify, yeah. So Fred was basically saying that yes, his friend did likely kill himself, right? And that affected him greatly. So not so much I, I was where I was digging super deep into like, what's the dank lore behind this? And I know some of you were like, Nico, come on, man. You're going to make a little too deep, but you got to realize they were super vague, man. They were super vague. And I was trying to think like, why are they being so vague? And in reality, the likely the reason they were vague about that is probably for like ESRB rating stuff, right? I'm pretty sure that if there is like any kind of like actual like mention or notion towards suicide in any of these games, they have to actually have that in the ESRB and I could knock it up from like T to M so they're just like super duper vague about it I just the way that he was like he said he's gone wait what do you mean he's gone I don't know he's just gone and you know maybe kind of go like well is he missing <laughs> right like it seemed like maybe they were setting up like a he's being intentionally vague and then they were gonna big do some big reveal and be like oh my god it's my friend who I thought was it vanished and I don't, I don't know okay l look it, it sort of made sense to me at the time but thinking on it and just thinking about likely why Square didn't say it, it makes sense that way too. But I'm really glad you to see that there actually was a reason to why Nagi was just being like seemingly so like dismissive to Fret. Cause I was kind of like, after all, I was like, man, why is he so mean to him? And yeah, it's cause he wasn't real. And which makes sense. Again, everything like, everything about the characters and their motivations and how they treat each other and act towards each other is all really consistent in this game. And I like that a lot, right? Like nobody does some dumb shit. You're just like, why did you do that? It was all like, th like they thought it out very well. But okay, so now Canon is dead, which leaves just us and the Room Bringers. This ain't a game anymore, right? It's just a, it's just a matter of survival. The only ones who win are the ones who fucking live. Anyway, so we're gonna head towards Cat Street. Uh, we have two other people we also gotta go talk to. I am very curious about this. It's, it's not very often we get a person that's directly connected to Neku. It almost makes you think of this end up being Swallow or something. <sighs> That'd be crazy. It seemingly is gonna be a main story thing, which makes sense. I don't know, because like the thing is, we saw the vision that Rindo had. It seemed like Nagi was like, uh, oh, Lord Minimimoto or, or Minimo, whatever the fuck uh, is, you know, alive and is there. So show's going to come back. But it almost may sound like show might have been infected by the plague noise, maybe. I don't know. I'll be, I'm, I am going to be curious. We have not seen show in a hot fucking minute. He didn't show up in all in week two. Okay, so where where are my peeps? Peeps that I got to help. Uh, Tower Records and Shibuya Akari. Oh, shit. We got an inflatable rubber ring here. And some fucking rollerblades. Shit. They got everything here. Give me some of that. Oh, yeah. Old grandma loves me now. Oh, my God. Look at this samurai wig. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Second wind. Oh, no, no. Not that second wind or second second chance, actually, is what I was thinking of. Increased tech when immortal peril. Holy shit, this is expensive. 300K, lady? Good Lord. What? Could you imagine going to, like, one of these shops and you find, like, a literal, like, fucking pog pin that is like is three thousand dollars you're like what the fuck is it made of diamonds i like this song a lot too <laughs> Yeah, this is a, i will say i think the soundtrack of this game is pretty damn great i can't remember in comparison to the previous game to be honest I, like to be honest, I really only remember like a couple of songs and the calling from fucking the original game. And I can't say for certain how much of the, the music in this game is going to stick with me, but I definitely have a few in here that I really like. I would say that the soundtrack for me in this game is there's like a handful that I'm like, I really, really like these songs. And then a few that I'm like, these are pretty good, but I probably won't ever listen to them outside of it. And then like, again, a handful that I I really didn't like, like the one where it's like ah, la, 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 fucking screamy song. Oh, hey, Karaya. Ah, oh, she's all fucked up. He's got the dank juice in him. Ah, Kariah, not you, man. Kariah. Yo. Yo, how's it hanging? Got any... The Wicked Twisters. Huh. 
Something is amiss. You get over there, Lollipop. I don't think he is. It's the noise that got him. Yo, Penny. Y yes? Do that thing you do. If we go to see him, we need you to dive in there. Come on, you got this, yo. Yes, sir. <laughs> Pardon the intrusion. Call us the and pardon the intrusion. Oh, shit. They sure got me good. Didn't think he'd come after me like that. Should have known better. It was only a matter of time after the stunt I pulled. Who's he talking about? Who got you good, Sheba? <laughs> I shouldn't have underestimated him. But who'd have thought he had that in him? Those wicked twisters might still stand a chance. Just hope Azuki doesn't bite off more than she can chew. Frog! <sighs> Rendo the noise! Got it! Yeah, it's interesting to see that Seriously? Shiba basically like turning us like the Reapers as well, right? Like nobody is like safe from him, which is kind of cool. There's no noise. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. You're surprisingly helpful. Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> You're surprisingly Hell yeah, I am. I'm helpful as fuck. Just keep it. No, work for brains. How's that? <laughs> Just keep hitting up. Ah, worms for brains. There's some pretty great battle quests in here that actually add like a decent amount of uh, character and dynamic to all the, you know, people like actually talking to each other. Rindo and uh, Shoka being super sundaria with each other. And they're dynamic and varied enough that I don't get like sick of hearing them when I when they say it multiple times. All right, fuck this. We done. Oh my God, these guys have so much health. Mess the shit out of that button. Fuck, I mess the shit out of that button. Oh my God, they're still alive. Stupid frog. All right, you did. Bye. Croak on this, bitch. Did that do it? No doubt about it. That's Shibuya Syndrome. Even Karaya got it? Damn. His internal voice also made reference to someone someone else. Who do you suppose it meant? Karaya! <gasps> What'd you do to him, you little rats? Wasn't us, yo! Damn! Just got a ride in that noise that was messing with his head. Noise? Kubo, that bastard. Gramps? The Reaper's supposed to work together, not attack each other. Ah! Why would he do something like that? It's infuriating. And he's like the very bottom rung of the ladder. How could you let a whip like that do this to you? Mizuki. Put yourself together already! Hey, I might be able to use my powers on him. Why? So I can finish him off? Yeah. What? No! Come on! We're all friends here! I just want to help him remember who he is. It won't exactly fix him, but it's a good place to start. He's telling the truth. Let him do it. Come on, Pinky. Come on, you know you love me. Don't you fucking look at me. Come on, think, think. <sighs> hmm? How long was I out? Funny, and I, like, I, I was thinking, wait, I'm not gonna get another remembrance. Like, according to the achievement, there's not any more in the game. Karaya, talk to me. The hell happened? You can hardly move. You got taken over by the noise. Oh, yeah. Really messed that one up, didn't I? You kids ought to watch out for Kubo. Guy's a lot tougher than he lets on. What good is giving advice to the players going to do? A lot more good than pretending our titles matter anymore. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, you gotta loosen up, girl. Bend the rules a bit. Or else Shibuya is gonna disappear. But maybe that wouldn't be much of a loss. Excuse me? This place has gotten pretty dull lately, don't you think? Shibuya's gonna go up in flames soon. All thanks to us Reapers. The noise are messing things up in the RG too. All those people, all their lives clashing and melding and drifting apart. That's what makes Shibuya so vibrant. <laughs> that Shibuya, our Shibuya, is already long gone. I managed to keep the noise and the RG under control for a bit, but it looks like I won't be a much help anymore. Man, that didn't even last a whole day. That's what you get for stirring up trouble. Guess so. 
I see. So he was actually, he was directly like trying to stop them and that's why they came after him. And now you gotta keep stirring if you want to survive. Karaya. Would you two hurry it up? We ain't got time for this. And Piggy, if you with them, the Shinjuku Reapers, then I'm gonna take you out right here now. The UG is a well-oiled and perfectly managed machine. The conductor, the game master's orders are absolute. You know that better than anyone. We both do. Are you seriously still sticking to those precious rules of yours? Even though that's basically how you lost Shibuya in the first place. Well, it's ridiculous. I have more important things to be doing anyway. There she goes. You really struck a nerve there, little lady. Did I lie? Mizuki fought for Shibuya too, you know, in her own way. Back then, we could make up our minds on how to handle the Shinjuku gang. If we let them have their way, it's only a matter of time before they destroy the city. But we really don't want to get on their bad side. If we don't do as they say, there's no telling what they'll do to us. So why not give them what they want? Or at least pretend to. Make them think we're giving in so they let their guards down. Dude. So that's insane! There's no way they'll let us take Shibuya back once it's theirs. Well, if you've got a better idea, I'm all ears. So what? We're supposed to just hand over all city over on a silver platter? Enough. We can't keep bickering like this. <clears throat> they make a decision already. What do we do? Sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> no way you could have. Just like we had no way of knowing what your deal is. Hey, Mr. Mask. Uh, yeah? Oh, right, I, I'm technically wearing one. I forget that this isn't like a chin strap. I don't think I can make it back to the RG for a while. Try to wrap things up here before they get much worse out there, huh? Yeah. The show. We'll handle it. Don't you worry. Look at you, kid. All grown up and dependable like. Now that you've got your big boy pants on, you can start looking for Kubo around Tipsy Toes Hall. Just be careful. So Kubo's on the prowl today. Do we want to go after him? If our aim is to learn more about the Shinjuku Reapers, he seems an acceptable place to start. Yeah, well, Penny said. We can ask him about all that stuff we want to know. Okay, let's go for it. Connect four. Also, friendship is magic. So Kubo's gonna be the big focus to today. I'm actually, I'm looking forward to that. I, it's funny thing, I actually kind of like Kubo as antagonist. I think he's actually one of the, the better antagonists. Actually, you know what? I will say, I think all of the antagonists of this game are pretty damn great. They kind of knocked some of the antagonists uh, from the last game out of the water. Like, not that all of them are bad. Show was great. Uh, the two Reapers, Karaya and Izuki, who were like, you know, sort of neutral grayish area, but also worked against us quite a few times were great. But I didn't think the Game Master, like the, the big beefy dude was all that interesting. I didn't honestly think that Han Hanakoma guy with the sunglasses was all that interesting either. I mean, his motives were were something, right? But he just didn't really stand out. Not, I feel like, honestly, sh I was about to say Shiba seems like a weak one, a weak enemy as well. But this last, like, just this week, he's like, like at the end of last week and the, and the rest of this week, he's really gone up a lot. Like, holy shit. He's gone from being just kind of there to like downright menacing and like, holy fuck, dude, right? Like what he's willing to do. Just a cold, super cold and calculating how he's been like just taking everybody out and also like seemingly attacking his own Reapers. But I really liked him, honestly, surprisingly. He's he's so down, he's like, he's so despicable and goddamn. Yeah, Xander Mobus just fucking kills it. And his voice actor for this guy. He's kind of like a bad guy you really love to hate. Oh, got a pig noise. Hey, ellipses. Haha, uh, <laughs> his, his, his username is down with the syndrome. That's hilarious. Also down with the syndrome. I'm guessing he's over here. Yep. Hi, pig. Big pig that multiplies into little pigs. I think. Yep. Oh, God. Holy shit. There we go. The Baryon. All right, who needs help in, sh in uh, Tower Records? Oh, it's the orange chick from the beginning. Nickelodeon girl. Hey, hey isn't that MKN? MK, who? 
You know, the girl who does all the graffiti? We spent forever tracking her down in that one time. Hey. Yeah, it feels like forever ago. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot about that. <laughs> she can't be here to paint. No walls in the corner. So, what's she up to? Maybe we can find out if we scan her. In loving memory. I tried contacting the building staff, but I can't get through. Ugh. Hope it doesn't fall and break. What should I do? Oh, no. I left the mental grandma gave me on top of that building. I was so happy to be painting. I must have forgotten it. Seriously? She left something that, that important way up there? How'd she even get there in the first place? Coincidentally, that's also where our warp spot is. Well. Well, what? You like helping people, right? Are we doing this or what? I mean, yeah, I want to, but do we really have time? Does it matter? We can't just leave her like this. Hey. So let's help. She, now she wants to help people, yeah. Guess you're right. Hell yeah! Do your thing, kitty girl. Get ready. Get ready, here I go! Time to blast Let's off. Go. Let's move. Let's go. Is this it? Mm hmm. The graffiti is definitely hers, at least. <sighs> Girl must really love Grandma to be carrying around something to remember her by everywhere. I get it, though. We ain't nothing without family. <laughs> God damn. Fucking family! <laughs> Family's everything, Pete. Is this really a memento from her grandma? It's a gun. We got what we came for. Let's go. Sure thing. Let's have a look. <laughs> Don't let any motherfuckers mess with you, girl. <laughs> Here's Grandma's fucking Desert Eagle. Thanks, Grandma. Huh? What? The spray can Grandma gave me. What's it doing here? A let little angel brought it down for you. Huh? Did it fall from up there? Oh, thank goodness I got it back. Art just isn't the same without it. That makes me want to pay her a visit. Heck, her store's not too far from here. Maybe I'll go say hi. And if I'm lucky, she might give me another Mento from her younger days. Oh, wait. Are you connected to the old lady? Wonder what will it be this time? Maybe? Have to see. Have to see. You're joking, right? Wait, if Grandma's still alive, I thought she was fucking dead. Do the living normally give out mementos? Um, Why not? Cafe, the DM and all that. Agreed. In any case, her troubles are no more. Shall we get back to the mission? Yeah, we still got work to do. Let's go. Grandma? Is it the old lady? Yep, it fucking is. I knew it. Oh my God. MKN, graphic artist. A college student who garbs herself in orange from head to toe. Her street art is a hot topic among youngsters and is frequently featured on the news for social satire. She's the granddaughter of Crokey Panic's owner. Plentiful pins boost your pin drop rate when you lower your level. Sounds good. 84% of the way through all these. Guess next one's got tied to Shoka. Let's have a look. Let's go. Little girl. <gasps> ah! Us? Tis that apparition. Oh, what we saw before. Uh, Demon child. Apo, what? She left us that dying message uh, letter, right? <sighs> Kinda of amazed that thing still exists. Wait, what do you mean thing? What it what even is it? Honestly, calling an apparition feels a bit off. It's cognitive energy that drifted over from Shinjuku. Didn't that place get totally wiped out? <sighs> the city did, but it looks like some of the strongest refused to give up the ghost. Like this little child. Hey Nagi, do you think you could could handle this? Uh, I know not if I can offer much help against this specter of swords. But I shall give him my best efforts. Thanks. That all right with you? Uh, uh, sure. Okay. But first, switch to normal and save. It's cold, so cold. Where am I? My favorite park, the government building. Oh, my God. Government building? What the fuck? Onward, I dive into your brain. Let's do it to it, yo. Big bear. What happened to me? No, I'm not ready to die. You're already dead, girl. Oh, my God. This bear's huge. Healed it. Not bad. Holy mother of God. This thing is so tanky. Holy shit. I was only one fight because I'm pretty sure I'm already almost out of fucking time. Dude, what the hell? Oh my God. Oh, it was? Holy shit, really? Oh, thank God. It was only one fight. Oh my God. I couldn't believe it. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. It's going forever. There's no way I'm going to get this. Anyway, it's time for me to move on. Goodbye. I'm going to go be with mom. Oh, wait. I'm already dead. That's right. Uh. 
<laughs> Just a formidable phantasm, indeed. You okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nothing. Let's get going. All right. Snare Trap E. He's only the target to stop their movements for a long time. Grave the words, a true friend shares your dreams. What the hell is like a cat with the, his brain or something was getting open? What the heck? Rinko Sekino Hara, unfortunate victim of Shinjuku's inversion. After fooling around the ruins of Shinjuku and the UG, she slipped into Shibuya alongside a certain someone's comings and goings. Despite not being able to leave her new home, she doesn't want to disappear. Feeling bad for this lost soul, Shoka gave a, a role in a recent mission. Oh, I see. Uh, Shibu pay bonus. Oh, really? Increases it. Uh, Madam Ernst selling pins. Nice. I don't know exactly how that ties to her personality at all, but whatever. Here, more money. Why not? <laughs> so going. Holy guacamole. Damn, I wish I was, I was wish I was doing avocados at the enemy instead of giant flaming swords. Any tutorials? Damn it. Please hold out on me. Oh, we got a pick here. I'm going to bet they're up on the tower. Yep. We totally killed that. Beefy pig. Oh, hell yeah. I'll take 100,000 yen. It's actually the first time I come across a 100,000 yen pin. Big money. Oh, God, is there one even stronger than that? Is there like a million yen pin? That'd be sick. That'd be the biggest pin of them all. <gasps> oh, my God. She's got a Mr. Mew hoodie. I wonder who this is going to be good on. Jacket made in the image of God O'Nero mascot Mr. Mew with a cat-eared hood and a tail around the back. It carries all the cuteness of the real Mr. Mew. It even comes with a red belt to flatter your waist. Shoka's like... <gasps> Aren't you like already wearing one? Shut up! Give it to me! Buy it! Buy it right now! Okay, okay, sorry, Jesus! No, she's in a style for it, damn it! It's all right, I don't give a shit. It's, going, it's still going on her. Oh, it's gonna stand out my favorite shopkeeper real quick. Hey! Hey! How's it going? Hey! Sorry, it's very important that I talk to her every every episode. She gives me strength. All right, let's go talk to Tite Kubo. Maybe Kubo's, Kubo's around here? Where though? Right there. Seriously? Just chilling over there. <laughs> it's so good to be evil. And there he goes. After him. Wait, he could be trying to get away. Or he could be leading us to a trap. Stay on your toes. Got it. He fled that away, just past the police station. He must be heading for Utagawa. Right. And that's what we're going to. But first, let's grab some gator. No, please don't make me eat the gator. I don't want the gator. The usual. More gator for everybody. Yeah, I'm fucking ready to take Kubo on out. Why do you do this to me? God, why? I don't want it, please. Please, look at that fullness bond. We are 182% full from this shit. Don't do it, please. Appreciate it. Oh, I see. You, so you basically buy like all of these things now from this guy. So if you end up missing one or end up running out, not able to trade them in for the pins that you need or, or clothes, you can still get them from him. So that's good. I mean, granted, this shit gets fucking expensive. The fact that this was over 300K is kind of nuts. Thanks a bundle. Thanks a bundle. Let's move. But I guess it's to show how rare it is. Why well, you should be excited when you get it. All right, what do we got to do, dickhead? <sighs> oh, shit, I'm super angry. Hey, hey, dude. Let us through. <sighs> Are you gonna give us a mission or not? Uh, I got your mission right here. Defeat this. Uh. Yo, guess it, what do you say, man? Y'all catch any of that? Alas. Uh. How are we supposed to complete the mission if we don't know what it is? Well, defeat was clear enough. Defeat the noise in this area. Defeat a certain number of noise. <sighs> what do you want us to do? Tell us. Hmm. You are too late. Shibuya is as good as destroyed. Uh-oh. Huh? What? Whoa! Hey, it's Nico. I mean, this guy. Kishima. If only you had arrived earlier. You could have completed the mission and passed the wall. You knew the noise are gathering in Mihishita Park, and that halting their multiplication would allow you passage. Mm. Did you not? The explanation we received... And therefore, our understanding of the situation was incomplete. This mission was the key to stopping the explosive spread of Shibuya Syndrome. And of course, to allowing you to advance beyond this wall. How very tragic that you missed such a crucial opportunity. If only things had gone differently. Wait, Shibuya Syndrome is going to spread explosively? 
inevitably at this point, though it matters not to Shinjuku Reapers. Uh... Is this? Are you giving us a mission? If we go to Miyashita Park and take care of the noise, will you let us through? Not quite, but the end result would be much the same. Make of it what you will. Yo, can we trust this brother? I'm not sure. He never takes anything seriously, so it's hard to judge. Mm. Looks serious enough to me. Mm. Well, standing here thinking about it won't get us anywhere. Might as well go to Miyashia Park. Yeah. Sure, can't hurt. Uh, okay. <sighs> it's plank noise. Just how many do you think there's gonna be? I don't know. I don't wanna oh. find out. Better hurry. <laughs> hurry up, yo! Ain't got time to mess around. More and more is popping up by a second. They can do this the city. I cannot bear the cost. Match the cost of We want that to happen. We made to Mishia Park. But where are all the noise? It should be enough that they'll be easy to spot. Just how big of a swarm are we? No. Never fear, fight. Fight your fear instead. That's what that lying sack of shit said to me. Huh? Isn't that? It's something Mateo used to say. It's probably just words to him. More like words that he stole from something else. It always sounds so cool. Uh, yeah? It's still hard to believe Mateo was really, you know, like that. Hell, he probably stole that quote from someone. Finding out my hero is a fraud. I was really broken up about it before. But now... I'm glad I know the truth. You are. Yeah, I feel like things make more sense somehow. Before I would just kind of parrot the stuff he say, but now I actually think about what it me all means. Oh, that's um nice for you. Yeah. So this time I'm not rattling off some random quote. I actually mean it. We shouldn't fear the fight. It's not just words anymore. It has to mean something. <laughs> well, as long as it means something to you, that's what matters. Yeah. Now let's fight our fear and the noise. Let's go, girl. Interesting. What was that reaction? Is he also another in another fan or something? Uh. Uh, I believe I found the noise nest we seek. Yeah, unless there's another ginormous swarm we missed. We better finish them off quick. Yeah, let's do this. All your ass is grass. Oh, your ass is grass. And I'm going to mow it with a lawnmower. Yeah. Nice one, beef buddy. All right, here we go. <laughs> so much for a nest. There's just three of them. Born of stormy skies. Storm, earth, and fire. Hear my call. Oh, no. Wait, never mind. They're still here. They won't stop coming. Damn. We even making a dent? I don't know, but I really hope the answer is yes. No. Prepare. Oh shit, everybody, it's still coming on again. It's like a reduction battle, like something getting healed between. Ah, take this, you dumb, stupid jelly bit. That was a close one, yo. Alright. Ryzen Surge. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, are we done yet? This round looking like the last. Bring on, y'all, noise ain't shit. Ah! <laughs> How is he not exhausted? Just perplexing, but also encouraging to see him fight so spiritedly. That's one way of looking at it. He's not wrong, though. Just a little more, team. We can do this. Just gotta believe so many jellyfish. Turn up the volume, yo. We got this. Yeah. All right, fuck these jellyfish. This ends now. Right. Let's go, team. <laughs> Unlimited power! Already, yo? That's how you kill them, nest jellyfish. Hell yeah! Mission complete, yo! <sighs> Jeez, that took forever. Let's get back and step on it. Got an old man to grill. Yeah, gotta get Kubo to tell us what's going on. Uh -huh. With the mission completed, Hishima should be willing to allow us passage. Come, we return to Tipsy Toes Hall! I'll tell you what. Aspect of truth. Throw black cards that pursue foes around the target and waste with three. Neat. All 
All right, let me in, dude. Hmm. I trust you've eliminated the source of the multiplying noise. Yeah, and let us through. As much as I would like to, it is not my right to do so. It is this fellow's. Something must be done about him if you wish to pass. <sighs> is he crying? The noises effect so are varied and, and numerous. So you're telling us to get rid of the noise in this guy? Will he go back to normal if we do? He might. He might not. I cannot say. And that means there's only one way to find out. We gotta get right up in there. Right up in his ass. Penny, so you. Yes, sir. You can do this, Nagi. I wish you well. I wish you good luck. Go around or two? Okay, we got this. Holy shit, that's a big baron. Oh, God, it's fucking wolves. Get rid of the wolves first. Holy shit, I'm getting so fucked up. Who's even hurting me? I, I don't know, because I can literally not see anything. What? I lost so much health, and I don't know... I don't I don't know what was happening! I'm about to die. I, I don't know what is hurting me. Who is dying? I'm guessing someone was pinned down, but I couldn't figure out who. I should go for the bear first. I don't know. Oh, my God. Wolves are zooping around. Okay. Bear's dead. Now for the fucking wolves that are just, like, glomping the fuck out of me. Just keep hitting them and try not to eat shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Yes. Get the button pressed out just in time. Die, you dumb wolves. Uh! I feel like we deserve better. Shut up. I'll take that. We take those. We did it. Yet the affliction remains. And he is nowhere to be seen. Where'd he disappear to? Yo, check it. Wall's gone. Whoa. Oh, hey, you're right. Whoa. Somehow I doubt this Reaper is the one who dropped it. I see. What you leave, Sir Hishima? Perhaps he had the right after all. Uh, I think he just wanted us to help this guy out. He is quite the pragmatist, it seems. <sighs> Honestly, who knows what that guy is thinking? Well, at least we can go through. Let's track down Kubo. There he is. Pointing his head. Hey, punk. We got you now, old man. Time to die. What are you going to learn? Who do you think you're calling old? <laughs> I knew you'd show you ugly mugs around here sooner or later. Hope you're ready for the party Shiba's thrown for you. It's going to be a real banger. Yeah. <sighs> I am loath to imagine what sort of soiree this might be. Does this sound like a re it's really my scene? Ah, oh, you could at least try and enjoy yourselves. <laughs> After all, we're rolling out there in a carpet for you. Yeah. What the hell? No way. The hell's going on, yo? Huh? They're all infected. And they're coming out just like zombies or something. We gotta take them all down. They need a demon die. Uh -oh. I doubt I can manage to dive into each of their, their minds individually. Kubo's controlling all these noise? You see now? I'm on a whole nother level from you chumps. <laughs> yeah. Renewed. Now might be a good time to do your time travel thing. We can't take this. Here they come. Have at it, it's all, boss. I just used it last <laughs> chapter, though. So I, I mean, or last or yesterday. So can I use it again this soon? Let's get this party started. <laughs> the answer is yes. Seems like he might he, he might be getting better at it as time has been going on, and like use it more and more frequently. What do I do now? Maybe there's no way to stop so many noise from showing up. We don't stand a chance against that many noise. If only we could stop some from appearing. Bag of Cat Street. 
It's where we found Karaya and took care of the noise inside of him. You can start looking for Koopa around Tipsy Toes Hall. Just be careful. So Koopa's on the prowl today. <sighs> Do we go after him? If our aim is to learn more about the Shinjuku Reapers, he seems an acceptable place to start. Yeah, well, Penny said. We can ask about all that stuff we want, want to know. Hold on a minute. Huh? What's up? We've already done this once before. After this, Kubo heads for Utagawa. Then he uses everyone infected with Shibuya Syndrome to attack us. And the noise causing the infection are coming from Miyashita Park. We should go there first and stop them from multiplying. Huh? They're multiplying? Yeah. But if we stop them, they won't infect as many people. And that'd make our job a whole lot easier. So, we have to get a bunch of noise before going for Kubo. If it lessens the burden we must bear later, I think that would be a wise decision. So, Miyashita Park? Yeah. The noise of the park comes first. Okay. Take the noise so they get a chance to multiply. Hopefully, coming directly to Miyashita Park changes the future. You fought in these noise already, right? Got any pro tips for us, oh, seasoned veteran? Well... We were able to hold our own enough well enough last time. But no matter how many noise we took out, it wasn't enough. They just kept multiplying. I think we may have missed the one, the one that's spawning the rest. So some kind of boss noise, huh? Then I said we aim for that one, yo. Indeed. That would be a sound strategy. We'll have to find it first. It's a giant fucking pig noise. That'd be something, wouldn't it? Hey, does the noise look like unusually large to you? Maybe. I guess it does look a little bossish. So, is it go time or what? I don't know. It doesn't look all that big to me. You might be right. You know best, dog. You give the word, we strike. If we get it wrong, no biggie. Guess that's fair. Well, which one is it? We fought a lot around here last time. Uh, probably that one. There, that one. Oh, wow. That's our target, all right. Just look at it. We finally found it. Good going. Now let's leave the noise busted to me. And also you guys, because I don't want to do this alone. This. this seems a rather risky endeavor. Big jellyfish. Holy shit. Oh my god, his spinning hurts a lot. I'm demark! And this guy, motherfucker spins. It hurts, dude. Alright. Let's wreck him. Uh, get the little ones out of the way first. If I can. Am I hurting him? I don't know. I've seen numbers and I wasn't seeing HP bar go down. Level up. Okay, stay back. Dude, you ever gonna stop spinning? Apparently not. Apparently he's never gonna stop spinning. Me, I can't go physical at all. All right, I guess we'll just fucking lame it out. <laughs> wow, unbelievable. He, he really, he just doesn't stop apparently. Die dickhead. Oh, <laughs> I can believe that, dude. He just just kept spinning. It's just like, don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Ha! Owned! Bitch. A veritable success. That's all of them. There were definitely fewer noise this time. Got a good feeling about this. Hooray! Go us! Celebration! So, to Tisha Toast Hall? Or wait, Udagawa? Yeah. Yeah. 
Let's go get Kubo. Change All right, our change fate. our fate. That takes care of the noise. Hopefully the future. Uh. All right, let's try that again. Hey, punk. We got you now, old man. <laughs> Who do you think you're calling old? Yeah. I knew you shows your ugly mug around here sooner or later. Hope you're ready for the party she was thrown for years. It's gonna be a real banger. Yeah. Although, uh, I gotta say it ain't quite as lively as I was hoping it'd be. You did something, didn't you, Mr. Rindo Kanade? I think that earns you a visit from a very special guest. <laughs> He's just dying to meet you. Ah, oh, got again? Lollipop? No way. <laughs> Let me just reintroduce some noise into his system and then. That was easy. Damn it out again, man. Got to take that lollipop. Saying good, yo. <gasps> oh, you have no idea. Swear I have to do everything myself. Whoa. Yeah! Hey, she helped. Is that Pinky? Yeah. It is. Cry! Pull yourself together. Stop getting fucking possessed. Just how long do you plan slacking off? You can't just leave me to handle the RGO by myself. Zuki? Uh -huh. Well, ain't that a bummer? I mean, I knew that guy was powerful and all, but I didn't think he'd be able to shake the noise and come to a senses so easy. That puts me in a bit of a bind. Oh, well. Izuki Ashiro, Kaki Karaya. I'm gonna have to mark both of you down as traitors to the Reapers. Traitors? Ha! My loyalty has always been to my city, not to a scumbag like you! Yeah, whatever you say, sweetheart. Either way, you're about to see what I'm really made of. Witness the true power of the Noise Master. What the hell? Azuki, <laughs> the Argy's in trouble. We gotta get, get to the border. Mask, skulls. Think you can handle this guy? Can we? We gotta. Can't do nothing about the RG, so it ain't like we can trade places. Lee grabs to us. Thanks, kid. I'll take care of the RG. And just how do you plan on taking care of it? With your help, of course. Uh, what? I mean, I guess. Sundari! It's you and me, girl. I'm lucky I got such a great boss. One who cares so much about her city and her subordinates. Makes me feel like I can take on the world. Uh, all right! Already, jeez. Later. It's gonna move on before I change my mind. We're counting on you. Don't let us down. <sighs> Whatever. I'm not doing it for you, Baka. Everyone's so soon, Darian, in this game. Let's leave the RG to those two, so we can focus on what we gotta do here. Well, you punks are in for a surprise when you think I'm going down easy. I ain't like the flunkies you've fought before. We can take whatever you throw at us, Gramps. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Hmm. Yes, sir. All right. Let's do this. I guess I could go around or oh, two. boy. Just Here we go. Careful. Oh, just more noise. Okay. The noise master. I wonder if he's going to fight us himself at all or if he's just going to shoot noise at us. Damn it. Ah. You really, it's like, you lose your noise so fucking... Fuck, dude. You lose your uh, your percentage so quickly. Like, I, ha I had it for a second, but it just keeps constantly draining. Okay, go. That time I got it, though. Stupid bears and wolves. Oh my god, they have so much health. Get the wolf first. Boom. I was just getting started, yo. Oh. All right. They got Kubo. No, no, no. This ain't gonna fly. Uh-uh. 
Ain't no way my noise could lose to a bunch of snots like you. <laughs> Guess we're just a whole nother level from you. Watch your mouth, wise ass. Huh? Hey, you still looking for a fight or some grants? Guess we'd be happy to beat you again. Why, you little. Oh. What? Trash. Time to take out the trash. Hey, I'm here. I'm back. You thought I died. Oh. Minami Moto. Mr. Minami, you came back. I thought you hated us. Oh. My lord. Ah. Oh, God. Why did I come back? Great. What? Hold up! The, the hell is Puffface doing here? Yeah! <laughs> oh, I was waiting for it, dude. We meet again, Mr. Skateboard Man. Ha! Ah, shit, man! I thought you were fucking dead. Wait, you know him? Yeah, he's a reaper. Uh, I think. Huh? He's a reaper. Was a reaper, but he's not anymore. Doesn't mean he's any less powerful, though. Hell, oh, I can't remember. Uh... Come on, think. Oh. Hey, I remember! It's our celerity! Tabuti over there made a mess of the whole city back in the day. He's one tough brother. Tabuti? <laughs> Tabuti. He's like a living legend. What, say? what the hell you come back for, yo? Curious. That's odd. Huh. So, Katoa. What? <laughs> so, are you gonna help us out again? Help us? You out of your damn mind? I mean, he was on our team before you showed up. He was our best buddy, right, Mr. Minami? He turns around, he's over there fucking killing Ren now. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! I am the Lord again! Oh, wait, no, no, you're right. He's nuts. He's seen our asses a ton of times! No way! Yes way! Nuh-uh! Yeah, huh? How you understand all that math shit coming out of his mouth? <laughs> we don't! But he helped us out, so who cares? Lord Rindo. Lord Rindo. Yeah. If I may be so bold as to interject, I have studied Lord Tomonami's countenance and temperament quite thoroughly. As such, I believe I am uniquely qualified to come in on his doppelganger's current demeanor. Uh, okay. I sense a substantial difference from when he acted as our erstwhile companion. What? His scent has changed significantly. You smelled him? His scent? Ah, oh, forget my misleading manner of speech. Perhaps it would be more accurate to say the look in his eyes. His eyes? <laughs> Whatever, his bulge is not the same size as it was before. His bulge? <laughs> they burn as if their owner were consumed by some uncharacteristically fiery intensity. As an Elastriniac, it is quite a treat to behold this unseen side. However, I fear it may also be a harbinger of some grim turn of events. Fiery, huh? I've witnessed similar phenomenon in the mines I've delved into, albeit rarely. Perhaps. I suspect it may be related to the no- Time to solve this equation. It's those birds. What the hell? Ha. Now! Converge upon me. Noise beyond measure. Wait, those things are noise? What the hell? Oh. <sighs> what the hell? So, so this is, this is what he was trying to do something before. He, it was, he like grabbed one of those birds before. And what, it's like absorbing their energy? Like what he did before when he got less noise form or something? Reversing the flow of time produces energy-consuming trash. What? You mean my time traveling made these things? Oh. I've already determined the factor that spurs their multiplication. Hmm. It seems they're drawn to T differentials, which suggests a degree of interdimensionality. But then their point of origin must be. Hurrah! 
Oh. What? Oh no. Are, are you okay? Lord Wind, no. We have an emergency on our hands. Huh? Huh? What now? <laughs> what the fuck's happening? Is that show or Kubo? <laughs> Beat! Ow. So what kind of bond you think I had with him? But let me tell you, brother don't care about that, yo. Been three years and he ain't changed a bit. No, that's no, that's show. And there ain't nothing he won't do to get what he wants. Uh, what the hell's gotten into him? Maybe that trash noise? Yeah. What is it doing to him? He doesn't look too friendly anymore. And we can't afford to go easy on him either. You've already used your powers once today, right? Ah, shit, yeah. Uh, ain't no good gonna come from letting him rampage. Don't know what he's after, but we can't let him get it. Let's go, Rindo. Okay. Did Kubo? I don't know, man. Like, his noise some fuck him up or something? Your number's up. Oh, God. Oh, boy. He's not on our side anymore, is he? No. Any resemblance to Lord Tomonami has vanished. How utterly out of character. Yeah. That's, that was from the, uh, what we saw before. Funny, he actually came in the boss fight. Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna get possessed or something. Is this actually how he looked? No, I don't think this is how his noise form looks though. I don't think. I can't honestly remember. He still looked like himself. he's acquired some sort of armor. Oh, fuck. Uh, what's that mean for us, yo? That we've got to work even harder to kick his ass. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, it's like he's reading our every move. It was a calculated counter, indeed. But perhaps if we can use his perfection to our advantage. His perfection. What's happening? Ah! Yo, cut us some slack, dog. We must relieve him of his armor, lest we endure that assault again. Ah, okay, the armor's gone. So dread us all. I don't think it looked like this. I don't know. I can't remember though, man. Like I, I remember the the dankness on his like regular show body, right? But not what his actual like form was when we fought him in like the final the final fight with him. Because he also ends up at one point getting literally killed off screen by not us. Man, I'm trying to get my damn beat drops. Okay, come on, man. We're super close. Dude, come on, give me my beat drops. There we go. Try to fuck you up, dude. Uh, take that show, you dickhead. Uh, he's kind of squirrely. What the hell? Oh, no. Damn it. This is a phase change, isn't it? I, I guess? What the hell? No? At third point, third point, it's supposed to do any damage. Is that like... Is that like an anti-cheese or something with that move? Maybe. Or was I just like missing him? I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Show has been like infected though. But he was like, the noise was seemingly being produced from uh, Rindo. Like it was created after when Rindo time traveled. But then where? Yeah, I guess the question is where is it coming from? I would leave. Let me believe then it was come from uh, Kubo somehow, because he's the noise master. Maybe. Oh, I don't know why that would make any sense. <laughs> I don't know. It's, pro it's probably something else. Ah. 
You tanky show. Oh man, he keeps getting that damn armor. I can still seemingly hurt him even with the armor on. A little bit. Just seems like it maybe occasionally stops my attacks. Yeah, wrong answer. Okay, armor's broken. Time to finish the show. Uh, take this. Uh, Boom. How do you like that? How do you like that? Cool. Gotta get my head back Shishio. In Lord Shishio. He's unstoppable. What do we do now? Run? That would be advisable. We beat him! Come on! Ain't got no other choice. Then let's scram while we can. Right. Come on. Might have pushed myself too hard. B, are you okay? Don't stop, keep going. But what about you? I'ma stay here and keep him at bay. No, B. Preposterous! I can't give y'all a speed boost right now, so I gotta slow him down instead. You feel? What are you waiting for? Go! And leave you behind? I'm trying to buy y'all some time here, yo! And what happens when you run out of time? We'll see. No, we won't. There's no way we're letting you face him all by yourself. You're gonna get erased. What? You don't think I can handle him? No! No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Defeat is inevitable. Y'all cold, yo. Man, fuck you guys. And you're hurt, Worms for Brains. Either we all escape together, or we all fight together. We all die together. Look, I'm gonna need you to chill for a sec. We all stay and fight, we all get erased. Ain't nobody gonna be left to save Shibuya. I'll catch up with you later, but for now, y'all gotta go. Oh, holy shit, cutscene! Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Can't let you through! Come on, work over my dead body. No, me, no. What the hell did Beat Awake into his demon power? Who's that? Oh, fuck me. Oh, oh, fuck me. Oh, my God. Got me good, yo. You okay? <clears throat> no way. Who the hell is that? <laughs> no idea. Here, let me help you. Oh, fuck! Can't believe you're back. Damn, phones! Believe it. Believe it! <clears throat> Damn, phones look cool as fuck! Oh my god, you got new drip too, bro! <laughs> Where? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Where the hell you been this whole time, yo? I looked all over for you. Wow. Oh, my God, dude. So, who's that guy? An unfamiliar face, to be sure. Neku. He's on our side, though, right? Wow. What a glow up he got. Jesus Christ. Who are they? Friends of yours? Yeah, we tight. They's my teammates this time around. We've been playing one hell of a game together, yo. Yo, Rindo! You alright? Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> I'm just- Dude! Freaking out, Rindo, man! <laughs> wow, look at Neku! Oh my god, that's so cool! <laughs> wow, he did- I was like, he- I thought he would show up! I wasn't expecting him to show up now, though! I thought he'd be like show up at like the very end or something. I'm like, because like he has to show up at some point, right?
right? Wow. He looks, wow. He looks fucking sick in this game. <laughs> he looks so much cooler in this game. Wow. And he's got like the much less emo fucking hairstyle. Like he cut it a bit shorter. Damn, dude. Oh my God. Nicky. Yeah. I was like, this is a 3D cutscene. Either Beat's about to die or something crazy is going to happen. A new game, huh? I wonder if that's... Don't worry. I'm here to help. Oh, heck yeah. He's still, he's got his, his, his uh, same color palette they did in the last game. He's got a jacket now. Or a jacket that at least covers more of him. Oh, shit. Are you going to join our team? That's going to be really sick. I wonder if that's his voice actor. He only, I mean, I think he only heard his voice lines in like some of the fights. I bet it is. Shinjuku got destroyed, but I won't let that happen again. Not here. You're from Shinjuku? <laughs> About time you showed up. Oh, right. Also, yeah, that's actually, that's right. He technically had his, his intro at the start. Stop. Stop the noise. All right. Yeah. Wait, is it that guy? Same guy. Ah, where are my manners? Pleased to meet you. I'm Tosai Furusawa, but you can call me Fred. Who are you? Me. I'm Neku Sakuraba. Neku! Back from the dead, asshole! Neku? That's my name. Like, the Neku? Tis the legend himself. <laughs> Can't say I factored you into the equation. Looks like I'll have to recalculate. Sit your ass back down, Tabooty. Tabooty. <laughs> Nick is like, dude, seriously, you came back again? All the points were set as variables, but the projected future remains unchanged. Is a transformation even possible? Hey, you, masked septogram. Uh, yes? Something strange about that power of yours. Same goes for that pin you got there. The cardinality doesn't match the set. Huh? That kind of exponential power isn't meant to be wielded by a mere player. Oh, and what were you planning to use it for? No one pie face? Nothing good, yo. To approach infinity. And if I don't integrate myself with more power, my numbers will get crunched. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. He, he basically was taking this noise that seemingly, whatever reason is being created every time Rindo like hops through time and he was trying to harness it uh, in some way. And it kind of backfired. Right. Not sure I follow. There's someone even more powerful we should watch out for? Huh. The probability exists. As for who it is, that's an equation you'll need to solve for yourself. Gato Nero. So, Neku, did you really mean it when you said you'd help us earlier? Of course. I want to help you save Shibuya. That all right with you? Um, of course it is. <laughs> I mean, how can we say no to the legendary Neku? Wow! I can't believe I'm in the presence of greatness. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. But in any case, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Wow! Let the storm rage on. Time is coming, so am I. <laughs> wow! So he's actually gonna be our party member. That's awesome. I guess show isn't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what show's doing. Send a wide sweeping shockwave at your target. Those caught in the middle will take heavy damage. Fully charged to knock the enemy back. And friendship. Wow. So Neku is the one that is actually the new character that's being tied to me here. Wow. Super cool. What is it this time? Okay. Oh now what? It's Shibuya. Being exploded. Everything looks so normal. Tell the fire nation attack. Was everything I did all for nothing? Huh. That didn't sound good. Come back. Come back, Nicku. Damn, that was super hype, man. That was super fucking sick. Day five. Only a few more days left. Oh. Oh shit, my jam's hey, coming on. Nicku. Hey, Rindo, right? Yeah, good to finally meet you. 
Even though it won't be for very long. Yeah, Beat filled me in a bit. Said beating Shiba will fix everything. We hope. Well, we're gonna have to take him down, that's for sure. But I've got a feeling there's someone else, too. Like who? Whoever's making all that noise. Isn't that Shiba? Hmm. Might be. Three years ago, I got dragged back into the UG. When I came to, I was in Shinjuku. Or whatever was left of it. The city was already in ruins by the time I arrived. Damn. So Shinjuku really did get erased. And that's the New Day thing, right? Well, it's still there, but it's been cut off from both the RG and the UG. Ah! Nobody's there, but it's not completely empty. People's thoughts are still floating around the city like lost souls. What do you mean? You can scam people and see what they're thinking, right? It's kind of like that, except the people themselves aren't around anymore. I tried sifting through some thoughts to find out what happened there. And did you come up with anything? Nothing concrete, but I did get a new lead. Gotta follow up on that first. But how? I've got a Reaper friend who's helping me out. I'll try to touch base. A Reaper? Is it Karia? Or Uzuki? Nah, probably nobody you know. Hanakoma? Although, those names sound kind of familiar. <laughs> It should. Familiar? What? Do you need a smack to jog your memory? Uzuki. Uzuki. Uh, is that what your name was? <laughs> you really don't remember? First that Skull Kid and now you too. Unbelievable. The name's Uzuki Yashiro. Try not to forget it this time. Yeah, sorry. Where's Karia? <laughs> He's resting. Damn it, Naku! Dealing with all those noise yesterday really did a number on him. Uh, right. Thanks for all your help. Save your breath. We didn't do it for your sakes, Pipsqueak. Listen, Amnesiac. I mean, Neku. What? I'm really glad you made it back. Mm. Karya and I, we're both doing whatever we can to help. So you'd better do your part too. You got that? You better be busted, Deku! I swear to God! I will. That's why I came back. He's so cool! <laughs> Greetings, Sheba of Shibuya. Got some red hot news for you. Sheba. I'm feeling almost frostbitten in the wake of yesterday's party. After all the trouble I went through to get everyone fired up, too. Although it looks like you all enjoyed yourselves anyway. Color me jealous. Wish I could have personally greeted our newcomer. Welcome back, Neku. <laughs> I've been looking all over for the player of legend to help spice up my little game. I even went to the RG and back to find him. But all I got were these lousy, wicked twisters. <laughs> Who in the world would have thought they'd be the last team standing? <laughs> A scorching hot turn of events, for sure. And I'm not turning down the heat just yet. Expect some guest appearances I think you'll love. Including the highly anticipated return of a few old flames. Old flames? Stay tuned. <laughs> and with that, I bid you adieu. Ugh, he's so infuriating. I'm gonna go throw up. Neku, take care of things here. And as for you, Rindo. Uh, yes? You're the leader, aren't you? Start acting like it. Right. Bitch! Hey! Sup, my dudes? Hey. Hi. Let's get this day started. How's it going, Neku? You good? You bet. With today's broadcast received, we are prepared to march. That being said... What? I worry about the aforementioned old flames. I suspect the game master is rather irate that yesterday diverged so greatly from his plans. We're Kuba now. And given his temperament, we can expect him to seek revenge using the basest of tactics. Much in the way that after Lady Ayano was erased, he brought tragedy upon our dear Lady Kanon the very next day. Yeah. Wouldn't put it past him. Yeah. He can be a real asshole. <laughs> I don't know what that Shiba's planning, but if he pulls something, we got your back. Me and Phones is here for you. Yeah. It won't be easy, and it might feel hopeless, but the fate of Shibuya is at stake. I just realized 
Pete has headphones, but Neku doesn't anymore. It's vice versa. I don't get it. Why are you calling phones? Hey, 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 shut up. I can't own a raise. The name's in my head. It's just like Nico, right? I said it too many times, and now it's there forever. We've got to try to save it from erasure. We're the only ones who can. I must emotionally prepare myself. Jeez, Penny. You look like you's going to a funeral. Let's just hope it won't be ours, you know? So, what's the plan? I was just talking with Rindo about that. We're gonna fight the noise. I'm also gonna need your help with something. Which would be... There's something I need to figure out about what happened in Shinjuku. Uh, what about it? I'll explain everything later. Even I'm not completely sure of what I'm looking for yet. Okay. Great. Then let's get going. This Bodell. Judging by the Game Master's words from earlier, not that anguish awaits us. Let my resolve waver if it may. Tis my comrade's morale that worries me. Oh shit, this is gonna be weird, because the, the thing is, when I when I originally voiced Neku in The World Ends With You, I just gave him my voice. That was back when I was doing that, when I would occasionally just do that for, like, the main character. I think I'll go more like, uh... Because I'm getting a deeper voice for Rindo. I think I'll just give him something a little higher than that, you know? So, Shiba's had his eye on Neku. He didn't spend all that time looking for him. Neku must be seriously strong. Huh? Hmm? What's up? Uh. nothing Guy's on our side. I've got a good feeling with him on the team. He better be strong. Um, if I may, where, pray tell, are we going? Well, I'm trying to get to Cat Street. And since we're by the station, that means we need to go. Yes. Well, we know the way. Yes, follow us. And keep an eye out for noise. Shibuya sure has changed a lot. I suppose it's pretty different. Hmm. Can't even tell where the heck I am. A show. No worries, yo. I won't let you get lost. Leave it all to me. <laughs> Thanks. Well then, lead the way. Cover the truth behind Shijuku's erasure. Interesting. Oh man, that's just, just escalating. All right, look at look at all the people in my group. How, how are we gonna fit this many people in here? Oh my god. So many people. Wow, look, Neku, you start with this basic bitch ass pin too. It's all he had. It's all he had on him. Oh my god, there's gonna be a lot of buttons being pressed here. How good are you, Neku? Oh shit, he's got the drip. <laughs> he's got the drip. Yeah, his stats are already pretty great. Good. They should be. He's got high. He's got high style. He's already a higher style than fucking, fucking beat does. And I'll, I'll be honest though. You know what? I think something like my drip looks better, better than yours. Phones. I learned that I had to take the phones off. That's when my drip went up ten times. Man, fuck you. I look better with the phones. That's a bullshit, Neku. You know it. Passion for fashion. We're a, f a party's worth of full outfits. Yes. This is as many years as you're gonna get. At least it's comfy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, not surprisingly, he is he is comparable to our stats at least, and his his drip is uh, honestly higher higher than even Shoka's and uh, Beats, which is kind of which is kind of interesting. Why would you guys ever start with such low style? Why you guys gotta make me work so hard for you? Why can't you be like Neku? Why can't you be fucking legends? All right. Neku Sakuraba, member of the Wicked Twisters, a legendary player and friend of Beats who's cha who changed Shibuya's fate in the Reapers game three years ago. He's returned to Shibuya after learning it was in trouble. When it comes to using Sykes, his prowess is nearly unlimited. I really do like his redesign here. Pro tag partner, science increases the group earned from beat drops com combos performed by Neku and Rindo. That's hilarious. I love it. Booyah. Uh, have we connected to any of these guys yet? No, seriously? Where the hell does Show go? Oh, it was actually someone tied to Show. That, is that the only person I'm helping today? Oh, no, it's main story. Ooh. Oh, hey, I saw it. Actually, it was another frog. Tradish frog, the king of frogs. I didn't remember running ac across this guy. I've definitely seen a lot of the noise in this game. Actually, I'm kind of curious to see what the thing about uh, show's noise says. Leo Cac... Cantus Armo, a lone wolf with an unquestionable thirst for power. In his normal state, he's quick on his feet and fluent in motion. However, if he feels the need, he can hunker down in his armor and wait for the, his next chance to strike. So I got quite a few boss ones left. Damn, I can't believe we get six party members at once. It's just about to get nuts. All right, guys. Wow. So cool. <laughs> that was so fucking cool. Neku's back and he's on the team and holy shit. I, uh, it's just getting nuts now, man. The devil was not expecting that. And all my jams coming on. Let's go. Na 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 na. Na 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 na
<laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you all uh, enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not ready to become Piggy Penguin aboard this cell P, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.